No, 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 Bertram. We have been over this, haven't we? It's not that I don't want you sleeping in my bed. It's that I really, really do not want you sleeping in my bed. I'm sure you understand. And while we're on the subject, the last time that you crawled into my bed... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer. This is my man-servant Bertram, and this is my review for Outlast 2. <laughs> Actually, Bertram, how the fuck are you taller than me? Outlast 2 was released for the PlayStation 4 and the cursed Hexbox <laughs> in 2017. It is shockingly, bizarrely, weirdly the sequel to 2013's Outlast. Now, I say sequel. But this is more like a follow-up with a very, 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 very tenuous link to the original game. Tenuous. Adjective meaning very weak or slight. Now in Outlast 2, we play as Blake, most boring protagonist ever, who has come with his wife, Lynn, to North Arizona to investigate the murder of a pregnant woman when... <gasps> gasp! Gasp! The helicopter crashes and Lynn is kidnapped by a cult. Cult. Noun. A fucked up group of people who favor sex and suicide. So, in a nutshell, the game is like Super Mario Brothers. If Bowser kidnapped Princess Peach because he believed she was carrying the Antichrist inside of her. Now, like the original Outlast and its DLC whistleblower, DLC, adjective, a way for video game companies to have sex with your wallet. Outlast 2 is a first-person, sneak-and-hide horror game. Clearly, they haven't heard of electricity in North Arizona, because the place is darker than a night at Charles Dickens' house. Charles Dickens, author, wrote Oliver Twist, a novel about a boy forced into a life of burglary and buggery when he meets Fagin and his gang of rent boys. So, the only way you can see in Outlast 2 is by using your camera a la Blair Witch Project, activating night vision, picking up batteries to keep the camera going, lest you have to wander the darkness. And a lot can happen in the darkness. I should know. I play hide and seek with Jimmy fucking Savile! Now, unlike Super Mario Brothers, Blake cannot jump on the heads of the freaks he meets. Freak. Noun. Madeleine Manson. No, instead, you will have to sneak. Hide. Sneak. Sneak. Blake is clearly a lover, not a fighter. Which is fine in everyday life, but annoying here. Just pick up a bit of wood, man. Hit that weird man with his penis out. Come on, hit him again. Now smack that penis. Smack it. <coughs> I 
just thank my lucky stars that this is not a VR game. That would not be pleasant. Could you imagine being so close to, you know, that? It would be like Oliver Twist all over again. So, we've established that stealth is not my thing. I think I made that obvious. But, uh, what about the story? What did I think of that? Well, this is certainly a very, very dark game. No, I'm not talking about lighting now. I mean, this is a dirty, filthy, repulsive, Walt Disney kind of story. Cults, suicide, rape, torture, murder, Dumbo, this ain't. So, if you're put off by that kind of thing, you should be ashamed of yourself. No, <clears throat> on a serious note, if you can't handle that kind of thing, well, then you disgust me. No, no, <laughs> seriously, this time. If you don't like those kind of things in your video game, then stay the hell away from this game. I'm a sadist. Sadist. Noun. Dentist and or teacher. So I personally love this game and I like it more than the original. Now, if you're going to abuse me in the comments section for just saying that, make sure you use lots of big words. I like them. So, in conclusion, I am going to give Outlast 2 a 7.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.7 out of 10. <laughs> oh my god, I've got to stop drinking. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Outlast 2. If you enjoyed this little review of mine, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it so much, give me the middle finger. Please feel free to leave some abuse for me in my comment section. Feel free to post me some of your excrement. But until next time, remember to stay obsessed with, uh, with uh, maybe, uh, with, uh, shame, ah, with gaming, yes. No, seriously, Bertram, how the hell are you actually taller than me?